My name is Hannah Mayer, and the theme for this week's video is story time. So I'm going to be telling you guys about my story of why I had braces for almost two years and the backstory of why I needed braces. So let's get started with the story. Okay, so here's the backstory of why I needed braces. So my story started in seventh grade whenever my dentist recommended me to go to an orthodontist because they saw that there wasn't enough room in my mouth to get one of my teeth down. So I went to an orthodontist and they wanted to see if I needed braces. And I originally thought I needed braces, but my insurance company didn't cover the cost of the braces at that orthodontist. They also denied my x-rays for braces twice at that orthodontist because they thought my teeth were straight, but they actually weren't. So then eighth grade rolls around and I didn't have my braces on at the time. So we went to a different orthodontist and they did the same evaluation again for my insurance company, but we got denied from the insurance company again for the third time. Then freshman year of high school rolls around, and I still didn't have my braces on at the time. So I was reevaluated by orthodontist to see if I needed braces again for the fourth time. Once they did my fourth x-ray of my teeth, they sent it to my insurance company to see if I needed braces again. Then a few weeks later, my insurance company finally approved my x-rays and gave my orthodontist the go ahead to put my braces on so I can have a nice smile for the rest of my life. Okay, so here is my braces process and what happened. So I first had to wear my spacers for one week so they can fit the metal bands around my second molars. Then they had to put spacers in my mouth because I didn't have enough space for my metal bands to fit on my second molars. Then I finally got my braces on one week later and they started straightening out my teeth. My braces didn't hurt when I first got them on, but a few hours after I got them on, my teeth felt a little tender. So I took some medicine so the pain could go away. Most of you don't know this, but I actually ate normal food whenever I first got my braces on because I didn't feel that much pain in my mouth. But if I were you guys, I wouldn't eat normal food for the first three days after you get your braces on. Then my sophomore year rolls around and my teeth have shifted a lot. But in the middle of my sophomore year, I wore class 2 elastics for 22 hours a day and I was only allowed to take them out for eating and brushing my teeth. This part of my treatment continued for the next 3 months of my treatment. After that, I still had to wear my elastics but I only had to wear them while I was sleeping every night and I continued to do that until the day I got my braces off. During that time, I also had power chains on my top teeth because I had several gaps on my tops so I had to wear them on my top teeth for at least 1 year. On the other hand, I didn't have as many gaps on my bottom, so I only had to wear chains on my bottoms for my last four months of treatment. So my orthodontist expected that my treatment for my teeth will take at least one and a half years, but no longer than two years. So I was actually on time with my treatment plan because I got my braces off when I had my braces on for one year and eight months. The only reason why I got my braces off on time was because I wore my elastics every day. And I did everything that my orthodontist wanted me to do while I was in treatment. If I didn't wear my elastics every day, I would have had my braces longer because I had so many broken brackets throughout my treatment. One of the worst parts of my treatment was the fact that I couldn't count the total amount of brackets I have broken during my braces treatment. The reason why is because I had broken so many brackets. Some of the brackets I broke were not my fault. For example, my orthodontist had to fix the position of some of my brackets during my treatment. So... They had to break my brackets so they could get a new bracket on a different angle so my teeth can be aligned with each other. I didn't eat any food that was on the no-no list throughout my treatment and I still had brackets pop off for no reason. On the first month of my junior year, I finally found out the date of when I was getting my braces off because I got so sick and tired of having metal in my mouth. I was so happy at that point, but I kept the date a secret from all of my friends and you guys because I didn't know if I was actually getting my braces off on that day or not. So I didn't want to tell anyone about which day I was getting my braces off. And in addition to that, I wanted to film on the day I got my braces off. But I didn't want to film if I didn't get my braces off on that day. So I waited until they told me that I was getting my braces off today in order to film. Okay, so that was the process of my braces journey. So I'm going to start with the day I got my braces off for my life after braces. So it was on November 5th, 2015, my orthodontist finally said 
You're getting your braces off today. So I was really excited and it was one of the best days of my life. So she started popping off my brackets one by one on the tops and did the same thing for the bottoms. Once all of the brackets were off, she had to polish all of my teeth by taking off all of the nasty glue that was left on my teeth. Then I had to get some x-rays on my teeth along with an impression of my teeth so they could make my retainers. I actually had to wear my retainers for 22 hours a day for the first three months after I got my braces off. Then on February 5th, 2016, I only had to wear my retainers when I go to sleep at night. I actually had to continue doing this process for the next nine months after I got my braces off. So then on November 5th, 2016, I only had to wear my retainers every other night whenever I go to sleep. I will stop wearing my retainers every other night on November 5th, 2017. And that also happens to be two years after I got my braces off. So I don't have to wear my retainers anymore after November 5th, 2017. Because I had braces in the past, I also had to get my wisdom teeth taken out. I will do a separate video about my wisdom teeth removal story later because I'm not actually going into details about that right now. So throughout my braces journey, the worst parts of my braces journey were spacers, broken brackets, power chains, and the elastics. But I'm glad I decided to have braces because now I have a beautiful smile for the rest of my life. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. And for a chance to get a shout out in my next week's video, please comment below if you have ever had braces. Here are the shout outs for my last week's video. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Hannah Mayer along with Musical Singing Life. The links to both of my channels will be in the description down below. So, thank you guys for watching this week's video, and have a fantastic day, everybody. So, bye for right now. Cause sometimes